Namaste everyone, I'm Shivangi Casey, currently a ninth grader at the XLC school. In the vast cosmic theatre of the world, where stars are formed and the galaxies twirl in their never-ending dance, there is a tiny yet amazing object that reflects human striving in the most extraordinary way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a key. Yes, you heard me correctly. A car key, how astonishing. But it's not just an ordinary key. It's the key of Tesla Roadster, which is a modern electric vehicle that sows the creativity and visions of entrepreneurs like Elon Musk. But today, I want to go beyond this metaphor and have a talk about space and entrepreneurship. The final frontier, space, has long captivated humankind. It stands for a world of limitless opportunities and even challenges which has captured humans' imaginations for centuries now. Thanks to entrepreneurs like Elon Musk and his SpaceX business, Jeff Bezos and his New Origin business, whose attempt to colonize space has recently gained renewed momentum. Commercial firms have now entered the picture as changing the space sector and also the way we view exploration, what I call an evolution it did. Because ladies and gentlemen, it's not just NASA anymore. It's amusing how people never associated the word space and entrepreneurship with one another a few years back. But today, let's look at it from the perspective of 2023 when Neil Armstrong's first walk on the moon is just one of many historical milestones. Although many of us won't be rocketing off to Mars or even the International Space Station, I believe that entrepreneurs among whom can be any one of us, have that capability to encourage space development and space entrepreneurship. Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring it to the attention that we don't need to be a great celebrity or even a scientist to kick it a start. Because in one sentence, space entrepreneurship isn't just for billionaires. Rather, it's something that has the power to empower millions. Let's look at it. In the world of space exploration, we have got entrepreneurs leading in the charge of developing tiny pinch-sized satellites known as nanosats and microsats. These little sats are like the slightest pocket-sized dynamite that can change and is changing the satellite tech today. They don't break the bank when we launch them, thus they're budget-friendly. And they're not just one-trick pony because because they, these little guys have opened more doors than your neighbor's over-friendly cat. So what's the deal? Space entrepreneurship is a golden ticket for entrepreneurs and small businesses today. Imagine a bunch of cosmic treasure hunters like Moon Express and planetary materials boldly venturing into the space. They're not just stargazing, they're up there harnessing the valuable materials from asteroids and whatnot, which has paved the way of establishing space infrastructures and eventually colonizing other planets. And it's not a surprise that space sector with its staggering market value nearly up to $3 trillion, which is a phenomenal growth, is creating numerous job opportunities. So this new era of space exploration and space entrepreneurship is helping to tackle global issues such as climate change while simultaneously also helping to have a scientific discovery and the improvements in technology. So ladies and gentlemen, space entrepreneurship has a high promising future. And you know what? Spenders are showing more interest in this sector because it's not just rocket fuel that's going to be flowing. It's a matter sour of capital flowing in the space entrepreneurs in the upcoming years. But when putting thoughts forward for promoting space entrepreneurship, it's important for each and every one of us to acknowledge the fact that space entrepreneurship is still a challenging field. New space technology still has a high drag stack. The space sector is also heavily regulated, which must be and will be challenging for entrepreneurs and small businesses to tackle with. Moreover, since the space sector is changing, the entrepreneurs must be really adaptive and creative. But ladies and gentlemen, Let's suit the stars because even if we miss it, we might just land on the moon and that's a pretty cool neighbor to have. That's why. Let's promote space entrepreneurship because that, my dear friends, has a very promising future.